Hi, Greg the Brickitect here. Today we'll take a look at LEGO City Set 60018 Cement Mixer. Now this wasn't a set that I originally had on my radar as something to buy, but I happened to be at the store and I found this for $13, which was a steal. I think it originally retailed for $20, so of course I had to pick it up and I thought I'd share it with you today and let you know what I think about it. The first thing we'll look at are the minifigures that come with the set. Of course, it comes with two, both construction workers. My favorite is the guy on the right, mainly because of his hard hat. That hard hat reminds me of a Lego set I had back in the late 80s, one of my first sets, and the minifigure had that hat. So that, that piece has been in my collection for a long time, and it's nice to get some extra ones. The one issue I have with the guy on the left is the fact that his overalls really don't match, like the orange that's on his shirt really doesn't match the orange that's on his pants, but that's just a minor gripe, so nothing major there. And unfortunately, there is no back printing on either of these figures. You probably saw this in the earlier shot, but this set comes with a wheelbarrow, which I'm actually excited about because I don't currently have it in my collection, so that's a nice addition. Of course, we have the cement mixer. Now, originally when I was looking at the box for this, I wasn't quite sure about the style of it. The one thing that really kind of bugged me was this extra wheel set right here behind the front. I haven't really done any comparisons with some real-life cement mixers, but I thought that was a little strange. But overall, I'm thinking that that probably does work out considering how much weight one of these will have on it. The other thing I was a little sketched out about were the number of stickers but I put them all on and I think it looks pretty good. I also really like the functions and I'll show those to you next. We'll start up front with the cab. You can see some of those stickers I mentioned right there is one for the license plate, one right there for the grill. There's a couple functions to this. You can take the roof off, which is really nice. So you can put your minifigures in there and there's a lot of space inside there. You can see you can fit one there. I don't know if you could fit two minifigures in here, but you can at least fit one. And then of course you have the coffee cup in the front there, which is a nice touch. And then the doors that open and close on each side of course so you can kind of open that whole thing up and put your minifigure in there another thing that's cool about this is you can pop this open like this and then you have access to the engine area and i thought the engine was pretty cool i like the way they did that it looks very realistic and i like how it kind of slides open and close i don't know how realistic that is again for a real cement mixer i don't know if the cab comes open like that maybe it does but it works for this and i, I like the way they did that and, and it's real easy to get into and i think the cab might be my favorite part of this but then you move into the back to the actual cement mixer part of it, and I have to show you this because it's pretty cool. Just to show you what the back of this looks like before I show you the awesome function it has, you have the mixer itself, which I don't have this piece in my collection. It was basically two pieces that were put together, and there's a sticker that goes around. There's two separate stickers there, so that's cool to add into it. And as you can kind of see as I was moving this here, when you move that cab open, this can be moved up and you can actually put pieces inside here and that's going to be the coolest thing because you can kind of move them through there and they come out. You have a little bit of exhaust here and you have another sticker down here that says Caution Electrics and when you spin this around this is where things get really interesting because you have this right here and you can start spinning this and that is so cool because there's a spot on the back that has like this little uh, kind of slide that when you take that wheelbarrow that I showed you earlier and you put pieces inside here, they actually come out and I'll show you what that looks like here real quick. These little studs are supposed to be cement and that's what I'll be putting into the back of the cement mixer. Missed a couple, but that's okay. This by far is the coolest function of this set and probably the reason to buy it. You start spinning this thing right here, you hear the studs in there that are moving around right now. And they're going to start moving out. I have them all the way down the bottom, so you're going to hear them constantly moving in there. So if I spin around, there they go, they start coming out. I missed the wheelbarrow completely there. There goes one. Yeah, I think you got to take your time a little bit. Can't go too crazy. It is cement, by the way. So you start moving that out. Look how much, or just not even missing. <laughs> not even close. Maybe I need to adjust this a little bit. Let's see here. Let's see if we can move it out. There we go. But you get the idea. That's the way it works. Let's give this a good spin and see if we can get them all out of here. Not a perfect system, but it, it works good enough, and I think that's just so cool. That really won the set over for me. So that's a look at LEGO City Set 60018 Cement Mixer. If you couldn't tell, I absolutely love this set. I'm so sorry that I second-guessed it. It was definitely worth buying, and I'm so happy that I picked this up for $13 because I think that's a steal. There's so many things in this set that I didn't already have, and I think it's just a great addition to a collection, and who doesn't need a cement mixer? So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.